Place at 10. There are another two shows organized by IGV. One is uh, in Lisbon, I think, and the other one is for Lisbon, Netherlands. Uh, exactly. So there is LAC, end of January, beginning of February. Mm -hmm. Lisbon is round about this time this of year. Uh, October. October. Like October. And, and then there's Amsterdam in like June. So ideally, you do a bit of a build-up in January, and then officially launch the program in in this show. I can mm -hmm. check the exact dates for you, but that's where you can really launch with the band. London, uh, London. You can uh, just write London Affiliate Conference to come out. Yeah, sorry. Okay. We get usually around six, nine, or. Do we need the like a? Real affiliate traffic to test all the system, or is it uh, just... No, we test it our own set, mm -hmm. no, we don't get real affiliate traffic to test it. Mm -hmm. um, we basically test our own sets, we just sign up accounts, we basically play, play the game, and make sure that what basically register what we've done exactly, we place this amount of money, we place this bet, this bet, this bet, this was the result, this was the result, this mm -hmm. was the result. Following day, we log in to the NetGFS system and we say, yes, okay, it's correct. It's showing correctly or no, okay, there's some inconsistency. It doesn't be mapped correctly. We'll go back to the data strong file and resend the file. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, if, we, uh, if we take this uh, test approach, like uh, to work with few affiliates, does it make sense to go, go full, full on with uh, NetRefer or maybe choose something less expensive at the beginning if we are using just a test phase to, to test the crash? Uh, um, is there any... For a cheaper tracking system? I don't really... We need to look into Well, I have to look into seeing what type of tracking systems there are available, but... To be honest with you... Um, to run proper tests... I mean, if, 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 if the system that we're using isn't giving us the correct results, yeah. then we're going to have an issue. We're not even going to have correct stats in terms of tests. So, eventually you're going to need an entry fair. So, I don't really see the point of getting something like slightly deeper just for testing and then having to roll it out anyway, because then you're going to have another 12 weeks lag until you okay. basically get the entry fair system up and running. So, if anything, mm -hmm. I would go straight. Into, I mean, it's a system. If you're going to work with affiliates, you're going to need one of these systems. The, I mean, I don't think there's any other. I mean, there's. I, I mean, choosing between the NetRefer and, and this, uh, the one income from access. Canada, the income access, because they, as I understand, they charge more based on the transactions. Uh, okay, so. Uh, okay. What are you saying? Uh, okay, is so you initially go to income access. It depends how long your, your contract is signing for, because usually. Okay. Because. Since they have low setup fees, then they have a contract period of like three to five sense. years. Okay. So. But if you have a good lawyer and you can negotiate like a good exit clause, which you can use later, then. Uh, no, but I don't really want to get into exit clauses on my reputation when you come access. No, it's. I guess it sounds more expensive to save money. I mean, <laughs> we won't get any any substantial amount saved in this. In this case, if we just go with net with this income access and then switch to so no, because at the end of the day, there's still development work involved, even in terms of the resources available at yeah. your end. There's still development work. The, the, the files are different. The data mapping is different. So it's not a process you can just okay switch off income access and switch on net mm -hmm. Um you basically have to go through the whole process once again, the whole closed loop testing once again. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at a 12 week period where you can't do anything with affiliates when you're basically switching and migrating the data is quite a hassle as well yes, from yeah, one yeah, thing yeah. to another. Okay, okay. And you don't really want to get into, because the thing is with income access, unlike NetRefer, income access have their own database of affiliates as well, and very strong in Canada, very strong in Australia. Um, so you don't really want to get into their bad books by just using them for tests and then pulling out of a contract because you found the clause where you can't pull out. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get that type of name with them because then they have a lot of affiliates which they can just traffic to, to you. Mm -hmm. Whereas NetRefer is purely an affiliate system. 
So I would then. No, no, just, that's the case. Uh -huh. A bit different, but I suggest doing the comparison and then taking the best decision based on Yes, your exactly. Findings. Exactly. We'll do the comparison and I'll do an RFP and I'll do basically we'll set up the demos and I'll set them up for early next week when we're back because we're basically going on holiday Wednesday evening. And um, so when we're back next week, I'll be able to set up the demos with the three different, I mean, I'll, I'll speak to them now, I'll send some emails this afternoon, and set up the demos with the three different providers, and, and then obviously we can be, I'll be able to do a business case in terms of, okay, this is what we really need at this point, this is basically what is missing on one, what is missing on the other, this is the cost justification of the process, etc. Mm -hmm. So even if the investors ask or whatever, we'll have something to justify why we went for a more expensive option, etc. Because et et mm -hmm. even in terms of um, <clears throat> if you ever have to come to basically sell sell the business or whatever, um, Netflix is your own system. Mm -hmm. It's housed on their, their servers or it's housed on your servers, but it's their own system. So, but it's, it's your own system. With, with income access, it's a, it's a shared system. Okay. So, you also get into problems in, in terms of that, which is why a lot of people like William Hill, um, GD, everybody has to pull away from income access. Okay, okay. Uh, Apart from that, it's a bit dodgy that they have their own network of affiliates when they have access to everybody's affiliates as well. So, I don't really trust them on it. Okay, the... Um I was talking with a friend of mine here, also has some kind of interesting affiliate tracking system, Target Circle, I guess it's based in Norway, and uh, why why I like them, well, why at least I, I investigated them, because they have a already built a community of affiliates for promoting other casinos, for example, in Norway. but. Uh, and you can push your offer just like a, to the marketplace and because it's integral system between marketplace and the tracking you can simply, it, it's easy to take any offer you like but uh, I guess I'll need to dismiss them because there are much more reasons to go with uh, industry standard rather to... Uh, no, but I mean, when you look at them I mean, I'm seeing they even let, I mean, I don't know why focus source you them because I know focus source you use nature fair as well so I don't know why um, Focus Stars have Target Circle on their site, but we can look into this. This is a minimum commitment of 750 euros and over a long period of 15. So I've added to the comparison. Uh -huh, I've added to, I've, I've, I've also add this to the comparison. It's not a problem. So I guess you can do a matrix, see what each one can give you on a fourth price. Or? Yeah, if we would be able to send the checklist what we need, and if they say yes... They need the criteria, not yeah. the price... Yes, what I'll do is I'll create a checklist for the affiliate system, and, and obviously I wouldn't send it to them, because everybody then will say yes, we can do it, it's always the same. So, but then when it will basically guide us to the to the demo and what questions to yeah. ask in terms of okay so how do you do this within the system how do you do that within the system we'll be able to stick off okay you can actually do this you can actually do that because in my experience when you send basically you a send list of requirements so yes of course let's yes, say you guys will look into it and come up with a plan exactly. and then answer for each yeah. one and then yes okay it's coming in Q2 and Q2 never arrives fake so, it till we make it exactly uh, okay um, yes uh, Mm, of course, we'll need to uh, see the, what, what kind of endpoints do the system require, but I guess that, that will come up with your list of requirements as well. I mean, how our system is adaptable to what, what are the requirements. Maybe there are some features missing because there are certain issues regarding the, uh, the way how user registers in our platform compared to traditional ones. And uh, because of, for example, uh, let's say, if you have email of the user, it makes you easier to hack his wallet or her wallet. So uh, there are some certain, uh, let's say, sensitive topics. So uh, we need to go through the checklist ourselves uh, at the beginning. Uh, 
you don't send any data to Netlify in terms of user player data. Okay.